What's going on YouTube? How's it going? I've got Paige and Elliot here. Hi! Uh, <laughs> they help here locally. Uh, they come and volunteer with Point of Pride. We put out a bunch of binders today. Between last week and this week, I think we put out just about 60 binders. Yeah. So There's like 30 something and 20 something. Yeah. So just under 60 binders within the last two weeks. So that's really exciting. I'm excited to have you guys here. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Um, they're about to leave and I'm going to finish on with this video. <laughs> show you how great I am. All right, all right. So in today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about the old way and the new way of celebrating your top surgery. This is the wrapping gauze that my surgeon tied me up in uh, during my top surgery. So I saved this as a reminder of just the liberation that gave me. And what I also have here is one of my first binders. This was one of my first ones, not my original original, because uh, my original was long that I cut, but it's definitely one of my first binders. Um, and I keep this as well uh, as a reminder of just everything I went through wearing a binder. So when I first came out back in 2009, what people were doing with their binders were, you know, most of us have more than one binder, right? So this was my oldest binder. It's gross and colored and nasty. But what we used to do is we used to take all of our binders and we used to have a bonfire and we would burn our binders like in celebration of our freedom, our liberation of no longer having to wear one. Um, and people would post pictures on, you know, uh, their MySpace accounts and then, or Facebook. Um, and some people would even record videos and stuff like that. And so when I had uh, originally knew that I wanted to get top surgery, I had envisioned burning my binder as well. Again, it was kind of like a rite of passage, right? What I realized was this was a waste of binders. So some of us, our binders are really old. Like this one couldn't really be reused or anything like that. So this would be one that I would keep or I would burn. But what do you do with the binders that are still totally good, right? So. What you do with them is you donate them. So back then there was no place to donate them. Yeah, maybe you could give them to a friend or pass them off here or there, but now there are so many places you can donate them. And if you're watching this video, I really, really hope that you would donate them to my nonprofit, Point of Pride. So at Point of Pride, we have given over 3,500 binders to over 31 different countries in all 50 states in the last about, I mean, how long have I been doing this? I don't even know. I would say in the last couple of years. So how do we do this? Well, we do this with amazing, amazing sponsors like yourself who donate their used binders. You mail in your binder that is totally still usable. Don't burn it, okay? Mail it into us. We will refurbish it and mail it back out to those who can't afford it, those in need around the world, international, around the world. Your binder in Iowa could end up in Hong Kong or Indonesia or that's my alarm it could end up all the way around the world so it's really amazing and an awesome awesome program that's the number one way that we donate binders is people donating their gently used binders to us or making a physical monetary donation right aka just like giving us some money so we could then buy binders and give them out what I also want to highlight in this video is my favorite binder company and that is GC2B Binder Company. Amazing, amazing, amazing binder company. Not only do they have a lot of variety in styles and colors, their fit is phenomenal. Um, I suggest it to so many different people. Everyone loves them. Um, back when I was binding, there was one place to get a binder. That was it. Everyone got their binders from the same place. Um, but now that there's amazing new companies out there, you can get a really high quality binder for like $35. This binder, if this is an Underworks binder, I'm pretty sure I bought this binder for at least 60 to $65. Um, 
So with that being said, who's my favorite binder company? GC to be not just because they've donated hundreds of binders to my nonprofit Point of Pride, but because they actually have a really amazing, amazing product. They do customer service really well. Um, the products get to and fro quickly. They're trans owned, trans operated. Uh, there's no better way to spend your money than to give it back into your own community. That's the number one way any underprivileged minority community will start to rise above is when you keep the money within the community. So if you're looking for an amazing binder, go check out gc to be If you have an old binder, if you planned on burning yours, keep one, keep one as a momentum, but take the other four or five, eight binders you might have and donate them, please. There are people around the world that cannot afford these binders and they need your help. They need help from people who are privileged enough to have binders, to, are privileged enough to get top surgery. This is how we keep our trans masculine community thriving, our non-binary community thriving. This is how we do it, by working together and coming together. So I wanted to show you my one of my first binders. This is not my very first. I have. I, I don't think I still have my very first binder. This was like my, my second or third binder. Yeah, I just wanna share with you all like my favorite binder company as well as what you can do with your old, old gently used binders. And if you are one of those underprivileged people who can't afford a binder, then you should check out my nonprofit pointofpride.org because you can sign up there um, and get a free binder. Now there is a long waiting list. We have thousands of people on this waiting list, but we still work every single week and put out, we put out at least, I would say, 200 binders a month at least. So the more binders we can get in, the more we can give out, the lower our numbers can go, and the more we can help people like you. So if you need a binder, check out the link below, pointofpride.org, you can sign up there. If you wanna donate, please do so. If you wanna check out GC2B, they're an amazing binder company, go support them. And until then, I hope that, what's a good ending here? Hmm. Oh well, if you wanna help, go help. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, that's it, peace out.